links to the Illuminati, Masonic masters and a corpse that was evicted a year after being buried, the story behind America's bizarre pyramid mausoleums, and even Nicolas Cage has won. Actor Nicolas Cage bought himself a plot in New Orleans in 2010 and had a 9-feet pyramid-shaped mausoleum built. Even though it seems strange, pyramids aren't unusual in cemeteries, Cage is just late to the trend. Pyramid mausoleums were part of the Egyptian revival architecture movement in the early 19th century and in the U.S., most were built from 1865 to 1923. Though they're in the U.S., pyramids were a part of the golden age of mausoleums, from the end of the Civil War to the beginning of the Great Depression. Pictured is the Dorn Pyramid in San Luis Cemetery in California, built in 1905. What launched the mausoleum movement was the death of Prince Albert in 1861. Queen Victoria's immediate response to memorialize her husband rubbed off on everyone else. She started building monuments to Albert and so people said, well, I guess that's what we've got to do, you know, the moneyed people, they follow what other moneyed people do. Keister Egypt had also become popular after Napoleon attempted to invade the country in the early 19th century, so buildings, and mausoleums, were designed after Egyptian architecture. All architecture in Egypt has something to do with death and the afterlife, so it's a perfect fit for cemeteries, but it's kind of an ironic fit because most cemeteries lean towards the religious. And Egyptian architecture is so pagan. In the most famous cemetery in New Orleans, among rows and rows of intricate mausoleums, one burial spot sticks out among the rest and not just because it's a nine feet tall pyramid. In 2010, Hollywood actor Nicolas Cage had the pyramid built in New Orleans St. Louis Cemetery No. 1, also the resting place of the famous voodoo queen Marie Laveau. Residents weren't pleased about the pyramid being built in the already crowded cemetery and some complained that he damaged or removed older mausoleums to make room. But the pyramid could almost be a consolation prize for Cage, who had lost his two New Orleans properties to foreclosure in 2009. One of those properties, the Lane Laurie Mansion, is the most haunted house in New Orleans. Dr. La Laurie, a prominent dentist, and his charming socialite wife Delphine, moved into the house in the French Quarter in 1832. Soon after moving in, Delphine's reputation for gruesomely mistreating slaves became well known. There are accounts he later told Event magazine in 2014 that he bought the mansion to help him write a horror novel, but by 2009 it was foreclosed on and the novel was left unfinished. Following the foreclosure, Cage decided to buy a different kind of New Orleans real estate, the last two grave plots in the city's most famous cemetery, also where Delphine's remains are believed to be buried. Cage's future resting place isn't even your typical pyramid mausoleum. His name isn't on it and it is marked only with the words Omnia ab uno over the entryway. The phrase means everything from one in Latin. It is also marked by lipstick stains because visitors feel compelled to kiss the place where Nicolas Cage will be buried when he dies, dies. One is that the pyramid is a nod to his 2004 film National Treasure, where his character is a cryptologist searching for lost treasure protected by the secret societies of the Knights Templar and the American Freemasons. Others say it is evidence that Cage is a believing member of the Illuminati a secret and probably mythical society that conspiracy theorists believe control world politics and Hollywood. It is believed the Illuminati use the pyramid to represent their power structure and enlightenment. And others believe Cage stores money or treasure inside the tomb. Or possibly it was just another chance to be close to the occult, since Marie Laveau's remains are also in the cemetery. Cage does have a fancy for voodoo. He had voodoo priestess Miriam Chamani bless his 2002 wedding to Lisa Marie Presley. But whichever it is, Cage will one day get his wish to be in New Orleans. If she get on top and turn around, I'm busting. If she do that thing with the mouth, I'm busting.